In 2016, Tesla promoted its self-driving ambitions with a video showing an electric car navigating a seven-mile route near its headquarters in Palo Alto, California. We test drove that same route using Tesla's full self-driving beta, a driver assistance system that lets the car control its steering and speed. In the original video, the car appears to navigate the route flawlessly, making turns and following directions without error. In our tests with the Tesla Model 3 using version 10.69, the car did not perform so flawlessly. Full self-driving botched a variety of simple tasks. It failed to recognize posted speed limits, misidentified signal lights, and repeatedly tried to cross solid white lane dividers. In February, Tesla announced a recall on the software, pausing future installations of full self-driving until it could send out an update to address issues where the car would break traffic laws. Regulators said the cars were rolling through intersections and failing to adhere to yellow lights, stop signs, and speed limits. The smooth drive in Tesla's 2016 Paint It Black video was far from how it appeared. It was, in fact, a tightly scripted and staged production. The route was pre-mapped using software not available to drivers, according to a 2021 New York Times report, and the Tesla also crashed during filming and had to be repaired. That description was corroborated by a 2022 deposition from Tesla's director of autopilot, as reported by Reuters. He said the video was not an accurate portrayal of the Tesla Model X's capabilities. All of this seems to directly contradict the opening frames of the video, where it says, the person in the driver's seat is only there for legal reasons. He is not doing anything. The car is driving itself. In fact, the director of autopilot testified the car did not drive itself, and at times, the driver took control. Tesla did not respond to a detailed request for comment, but CEO Elon Musk has defended its driver assistance system in the past, calling the features unequivocally safer, even safer than normal driving. The company recently defended full self-driving, saying cars using the software are six times less likely to crash than conventionally driven cars. The post drive was just one small test, but it shows that years after Tesla tried to demonstrate its technology in a controlled environment, even widely available versions of its software cannot navigate the same obstacles without human intervention.